we meet in God's name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And also with you. Thank you very much indeed. Welcome to our evening Christmas service online from the High Altar of Mitcham Parish Church. You are warmly welcome this evening. It's an absolute shame, really, that we're having difficulty actually using the church as we'd like to and as indeed many of us would be used to over many, many years. However, we are still having a live service at 11.30 this evening, but this service is particularly for people who find that they can't get out at the moment due to caring responsibilities, due to shielding, due to many other reasons too. Whatever your reason for being here this evening, good evening and welcome. You are warmly welcome as we start our celebrations of Christmas tide. For the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. Alleluia. We celebrate this Eucharist together as Christmas Day dawns, and we share in the wonder of God revealed in the child who was born humbly in a stable. I bring you good news of great joy which is come to all the people. For this day in the city of David, a Saviour is born to you who is Christ the Lord. We say, Lord Christ, light of light, you have come to us in the form of a child. Be born in us today that we may find in earthly things the glory of God Most High. We light a Christmas candle at the birth of Christ the King, who has come as light in the darkest night. To his glory now we sing. For the baby born of Mary is the Lord of all the earth. As the church bells ring, so the people sing praise to God for this child's birth. Announced by angels to shepherds, the Lord of heaven and earth has come among us and was born in a stable in Bethlehem. In Jesus Christ, God has given himself to us. Alleluia. Christ, the light of the world indeed, has come into the world to dispel the darkness of our hearts. So now in his light, let us now sit or kneel and examine our lives and confess our sin. Lord of grace and truth, the Virgin Mary accepted your call to obedience as the mother of your Son. Forgive our disobedience to your will. Father, we have sinned. Forgive us and heal us. Your Son, our Saviour, was born in poverty in a manger. Forgive us our greed and rejection of your ways. Father, we have sinned. Forgive us and heal us. The shepherds left their flocks to go to Bethlehem. Forgive our self-interest and our lack of vision. Father, we have sinned. Forgive us and heal us. The wise men followed the star to find Jesus the King. Forgive our reluctance to make efforts to seek you. Father, we have sinned. Forgive us and heal us. And may the God of all healing and forgiveness draw you to himself and cleanse you from all your sins, that you may behold the glory of his Son, the Word made flesh, 
namely Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. So we come to the collect for this, the day as we start Christmas Day. Let us pray. Eternal God, who made this most holy night to shine with the brightness of your one true light, bring us who have known the revelation of that light on earth to see the radiance of your heavenly glory. This we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We now pay attention to the reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walk in darkness have seen a great light. Those who live in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. 
he will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onwards and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen his glory. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And all went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour who is the Messiah, the Lord. And this will be a sign for you you will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. May I speak in God's name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated if you were standing up. And if you weren't, stay there. You know, the themes of light and darkness have often been used as a way of speaking about religious experience. And here we are in church, surrounded by the darkness with the lights on, and it's really quite extraordinary. Light has always been associated with goodness, with knowledge, and with hope. And darkness, the opposite, obviously, has symbolized evil, ignorance, and despair. 
In the first reading, we heard the prophet Isaiah voice his hope to the people of Judah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep shadow, on them light has shined. In the Christian tradition, we interpret that light, of course, to be Jesus, the Christ, the true light that enlightens all men, as John's Gospel reminds us. And without him, we are stumbling around in the dark. Without him, we can come to prefer the dark to the light if we're not careful. He is the only light that darkness cannot quench, thank God, cannot overpower, cannot conquer. He is the light that darkness can never put out. But that light comes to us not as a bolt from the sky, not as a great warrior appearing, but as a child being born naturally from his mother's womb. This light is a child born humbly, in obscurity. Now with the birth of every child, there is new life, new hope, a new innocence that graces a world that is tired of pain and contradiction. And like any baby, Jesus As a baby does not question the ways of the world, he does not seek the wisdom of God as yet. He does not demand to be heeded as yet. People can take him or leave him. At that age, he doesn't have any language. He is but a babe. Only later will he become a stumbling block to the Jews and folly to the Gentiles. At this moment, there is just a very tiny baby. But this is not the birth of any child either. No, Luke is anxious to be sure to tell us in the Gospel the true identity of this child. And so the angels announce to the shepherds, and so we are told as well, the meaning of all that is happening in this inconspicuous place smelly stable in Bethlehem. The angel's announcement pierces the disguise of obscurity and sings out the identity of this child. To you is born this day in the city of David a saviour who is the Messiah, the Lord. The angels proclaim at the beginning of the gospel what Jesus' followers came to believe but they only came to believe it much later after Jesus' ministry and his death and resurrection. That Jesus is the Saviour, the Christ, the Son of God. And we believe what they proclaim. And it's because we believe that Christ died and rose again that we can take the light of our faith all the way back to the manger and start to make sense of it. For the light of our faith lights up the darkness of the manger so that we can see there the beginnings of salvation. When we look in the manger, we do not see just a child, for with the eyes of faith we see the Saviour of the world. When we look on the face of this little child, we look on the face of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Without our faith, we see only the face of another child. With our faith, our visit to the crib becomes a pilgrimage of thanksgiving. Our faith prompts us to see the whole story of Jesus' life in the full context of the incarnation, the full context of his being born, the entering of God into human flesh the amazing idea of God being with us, dwelling amongst us, or as some translations now say, pitching his tent with us. But we must remind ourselves that we're not talking about an alien inside somebody else's body here. 
This is God taking on flesh absolutely. Taking on flesh 100%. Taking on a life in which he would grow and develop just like any other person. Would mature. Find a job until the day when he was called to reveal his true self. And then he proved his humanity by loving and caring and demonstrating what we should all be like, how we should behave if we were fully 100% human beings in the image of God. And Jesus, his life was challenged. He suffered. He was executed and he died a death just as we would. There is no doubt in my mind that Jesus was that 100% human person. And we are reminded of this fact today by acknowledging that he was a little, dependent, needy child, just like all of us when we began our lives. The feast day of Christmas, which we're starting to celebrate today, is a great celebration of our faith in Jesus and the day to realise the enormity of the fact that he was human, just like you and I. We gather this evening to rejoice and celebrate the coming of light into the midst of pretty awful darkness at this current COVID time. And we celebrate the new hope that Jesus has generated in people down the centuries. For he is our light. He is our hope. When we want to know of God, it is to Jesus that we turn. When we want to worship God, it is through Jesus that we sing our praises. For we too give glory to God in the highest heaven for revealing himself to the lowly. We say in the Eucharist, and you will hear me saying it in a short time, through him and with him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Tonight we join with the angels to praise God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We raise our voices with the angels and we celebrate the coming of Christ amongst us, pitching his tent alongside us, being enfleshed for us. To God be the glory for his Son, our Lord, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now we move on to proclaiming our faith in the words of the Creed as we state our faith in God. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, 
and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And so we lead into some prayers. And when I say, Holy God, please would you respond, hear our prayer. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Holy God, hear our prayer. Father, in this holy night, your Son, our Saviour, was born in human flesh. Renew your church as the body of Christ. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, there is no room for your Son in the inn. Protect with your love those who have no home and all who live in poverty. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, Mary, in the pain of labour, brought your Son to birth. Hold in your hands this day all who are in pain or distress. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, your Christ came as a light shining in the darkness. Bring comfort to all who suffer in the sadness of our world. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, the angels sang peace to God's people on earth. Strengthen those who work for peace and justice in all the world. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, strangers found the holy family and saw the baby lying in the manger. Bless our home and all who we love and all who we miss this Christmas time. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, heaven is come down to earth and earth is raised to heaven. Hold in your hand all those who have passed through death in the hope of your coming kingdom. Holy God, hear our prayer. Father, in this holy night, angels and shepherds worshipped at the manger throne. Receive the worship we offer this night in fellowship with Mary, Joseph and all the saints through him who is your word made flesh, namely our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so now we come to the peace. For us a child is born, for us a son is given, and his name is called the Prince of Peace. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Thank you. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. Otherwise, while we prepare the altar, let's pray for one another and those who we will be around at this time.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be God, by whose grace creation is renewed, by whose love heaven is opened, and by whose mercy we offer our sacrifice of praise. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your heart. And lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, it is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For he is your living word. Through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession. And now we give you thanks because by the power of the Holy Spirit he took our nature upon him and was born of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that being himself without sin, he might make us clean from all sin. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of heart and mind, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name Not in the Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. the same way after supper he took the cup and again he gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, drink this all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom. And with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise, 
And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit. Inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. We pause for a moment before the mystery of the word made flesh as all the world keeps silent. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one blood. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, give us your peace. Behold God's holy gift for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. God our Father, in this holy night, 
you have made known to us again the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Confirm our faith and fix our eyes on him as the day dawns and Christ the morning star rises in our hearts. For to him be glory now and for ever. Amen. And we pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Well, may I be one of the first to officially wish you all a very, very happy Christmas from us here in Mitcham Parish Church. It's been a great privilege to celebrate for you this evening, and I trust that you have found some solace and some encouragement and hope in our celebration together. We will continue to stream our services live on Sundays and Tuesdays, so our next service online will be this coming Sunday at 10 o'clock as usual, where we will be celebrating John the Apostle and Evangelist. And then of course at Tuesday at 9.30 as usual, and our regular times just continue then, with our open services in church being at 11 o'clock on both of those days. Tonight we will be welcoming people to church at half past 11 for midnight mass, and again tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock for our Christmas communion service um, in church. And hopefully we will be seeing some people then as well. Meanwhile, I wish you all the very, very best of times. It's not as we would like it, I know, for many people who are having to be on their own rather than actually being with friends or relatives. And that's hard work. And so please be assured of Reverend Jackie's and my prayers and the prayers of all of the community here at Mitcham Parish Church. For we are a family who tries to care for each other. So, God bless, and we look forward to seeing you soon. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May God the Father, who has loved his Son from before the foundation of the world, shed that love upon his children. Amen. May God the Christ child, who has gathered together things of earth and heaven, fill us with his joy and peace. Amen. And may God the Holy Spirit, who has given Christ to Mary, give you grace to carry the good news of Christ to the world. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Now go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.